Hopefully you watched the first video where I just showed very quickly how to come up with a scatter plot, a regression equation, and make a prediction, all that good stuff. Now let's actually go through and look at the residuals, the errors. Okay, so we're going to have our sum of our squares due to error, the total sum of squares, and then the sum of squares due to the regression. So to find these values, all I have to do is do my data analysis again. So data, data analysis, I find regression, I highlight my Y values, I highlight my X values, and where do I want to output it? That looks good. And there. Okay. So from here, what I want to do is I want to talk about, well, what is the sum of the squares of the error? Well, that's of my residual. So that would be 24. So you'll see typically uh, this is called SSE. So let me just go ahead and put that there. Some of the square some of the squares of the error, make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. And then the sum of the squares of the total, normally S, S, T, the sum of the squares of the total, of course, is 64. And then finally, the sum of the squares due to the regression, so this is normally S, S, R, would be 40. And we're asked to compute the coefficient of determination, which pretty much is just a measurement. If, is this a good fit okay, of the estimated regression equation? So I don't even have to compute that. That's right here. Here's R squared. And because this value, okay, typ typically a proportion is considered large if it's above 0.55. So this least squares line provides a good fit as a large proportion of the variability in Y has been explained by the least squares line based on my coefficient of determination. And my sample correlation coefficient right there. So all of these values, once you get these definitions down and what they mean, okay, but for right now, just to be able to find that, you can do them all with the data analysis tool.